If you'd like to set an intention for class, you could do so now. Okay, open up your eyes and begin. We start with three on the spot. Sun citation. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, we forward fold. So we take it nice and slow. You can grab opposite elbows, let the head hang heavy, relax the face and jaw. You can take a squat if that feels good. Nice, slow first set. Okay, top of the mat. Right foot steps back in a runner's lunge. High up on the back toes, hamstring reaching up to the ceiling, chest is forward, core is sucked in, belly sucked in, belly to spine, ribs are cinched together. Left foot steps back, you're in plank pose. We're gonna do yoga push up, it's called the shadow running, but we're gonna roll forward onto the toes. Modification, drop into the knees, knees, chest, chin. We're gonna come down halfway, come back up. Come down halfway, roll through the foot of your arms, upward facing dog. I gaze up, shoulders relax, legs are engaged. Roll back onto the toes, push back onto the heels to your first downward facing dog. So pedaling out your dog, take a peek at your feet, make sure they are hip distance apart. You want to push the weight out of the hands. Bend the knees if you need to get that flat back. From the side, you should look like an upside down V. Nice knees, guys. Let the head hang. Belly sucked in, eye gaze at the shins. Pick up the right leg. Swing it through under the heart. High up on those toes, chest is forward. High on the toes. Shoulders down, relax, eye gaze forward. Left foot, kick it up, forward fold. Hands to heart center, round on up. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Still in that warm up set, so grab your opposite elbows, let the head hang, shimmy out those legs. Take a squat if that feels good. Then we pick up the pace. Okay, two hands down, let the steps back this time. High up on those toes. Belly suck in, protect the lower back. Watch the knee and angle is aligned. Not too much weight on those hands. Right foot step back, plank. Push the floor away. Elbows hug the side body, taking it down halfway. Coming back up. Coming down, roll through into upward facing, or bamuka. Legs engaged, eye gaze up, shoulders relaxed. Roll back into the toes, push back into the heels, downward facing door. Take a seat of your hands this time, make sure they're shoulder. Shoulder width apart, fingertips spread out nice and wide. Let that head hang, push the weight out of the hand and into the heels. Get the crease out of the wrists. Finishing up the warm up, take up the left leg. Swing it through under the heart, high up on those toes. Chest forward, watch the knee and ankle in the line, belly sucked in. Right foot, take it up, forward fold, hands to heart center, round on up. Faster with a twist, inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Right away, right foot back. Left foot back. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Pick up the right leg. Swing it through under the heart. Left hand stays down this time. Right hand to right hip. Keep the hip low. Twist the upper body. Heart open towards the right. Try and stack those shoulders. If they stack, the right arm comes up. Reaching up. Fingertips reaching. Not too much weight on that pound. Counter pose, right hand inside, right foot, left arm up. Left hand down, left foot up, and round on up. Arms up. Forward fold. Left leg back. Right leg. Chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Pick up the left leg. Swing it through under the heart. Right hand down, left hand to left hip. Keep that hip low, twist through the lower spine. Lower middle, upper spine, twisted. Shoulders stack, the arm comes up. Counter 
your pose. Left hand inside, left foot. Right hand up. Balance challenge, high up on those toes. Right hand down, right foot up, and round on up. Moon salutation, Chandra Namaskar. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. From here to half lift, Ardha Uttanasana, lengthen the up, flat back. Let it go, hang like a rag doll. One more time, lengthen, look up. From the look up position, two hands down, walk, step, or jump to bend elbows, and take your flow. Chandra Namaskar starts with crescent lunge. Pick up the right leg. Swing it through under the heart. Hands come straight up this time. So you're working that thigh to parallel. You're high up on those back toes. Bending the back knee as much as you need to. Square up those hips towards the front wall. Relax the shoulders back down. Fingertips reach, eye gaze up. Bring the hands to prayer. Drop the back knee. Tuck the chin. Step in the belly. Round down. 90 degree angle. Both knees. Arms extend. Forehead to knee. Balance the loops. Inhale. Takes you up. Exhale. Charge the body back. Heart stays lifted. Two hands down, downward facing dog, optional vinyasa. You can do them on your knees. Knees, chest, chin is always available. Pick up the left leg. Swing it through under the heart and hips. Again, working that thigh to parallel. The arms can come up if you're feeling strong. Arms come up. Working that thigh to parallel. Relax the shoulders back down. Drop the back knee. Hands to prayer. Tuck and roll. Forehead to knee. Inhale. Take you up. Exhale. Go back. Two hands down. Downward facing dog, optional flow. Adding on. Pick up the right leg. Swing it through under the heart. Hands come straight up this time. So crescent lunge. Taking it a little bit deeper, second set. Thigh is parallel. If you're high on the back toes, you can interlace the fingers. If you're not there yet, keep the arms above the head. Charge the body back. Open up the heart. Lifts. Charge the arms forward. Charging warrior. High up on the back toes. Biceps by the ears. Reaching forward. Bring the hands to prayer. Twist to the left. Elbow to knee. Dropping the back knee is always available. Twist. Exalting the arms or binding. That's when you practice. If the left knee's not down, drop the back knee. Hands to prayer. Tuck and roll. Forehead to knee. Inhale takes you up. Exhale, roll back. Using that foot and shin, plant it down, keeping you balanced. Heart to lips, go back. Two hands down. Downward facing dog, optional vinyasa. Pick up the left leg. Swing it through. Hands come straight up. You got thigh parallel, back leg is straight, until lace finger grip, charge the body back. If not, stay here. Heart lifts, go back. Charge the arms forward. Charge it. Biceps by the ears. High up on those toes. Bring the hands to prayer. Twist to the left. Elbow to knee. Knee to elbow. And twist. Bringing out those internal organs. Hands to prayer. Exalting or going for the bind. The right leg not down. Drop the back knee. Cock and roll. Forehead to knee. Oh. Inhale, takes you up. Exhale, go back. I prefer doing that though. Okay. 
Two hands down, downward facing dog, optional vinyasa. Walk separate jump to the front of your mat, stay down there. Padmasatana from the front, heel toe your feet out, hip distance apart. Bend the knees, get the belly on the thighs, pick up those feet, slide those hands all the way to the wrist creases. Lean the weight forward, toes to wrist creases. Keep the bend in the knees if you need to, keep the stomach to thigh connection. Lean forward, tailbone reaches up, head hangs heavy. Give it another good pull as the elbow's coming out to the side. Release the hands, biceps by the ears, flat back all the way up. Float the arms down. Vinyasa three, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Inhale, arms up. Any variation with the arms, traditional grip, opposite elbows, dropping an arm. Just tip top back and forth, getting a little movement, side body. Tick-tock, back, forth. Okay, stopping in the middle. Right hand grip, left wrist. Take a big inhale. Inhale, try to straighten out those arms. Reach up, touch the ceiling. On the exhale, bring the upper body right. Hips to the left beyond their flexibility. Weight is lightly in the heels. You're pushing the floor away. You're creating more lift. Don't collapse. Heart stays open like it's shining up to the ceiling. Don't go forward. Right shoulder forward, left shoulder back. Hips square and you walk to the front. Inhale into that left lung, take it down a little bit more. One more time, inhale for strength. Exhale, pull, pull, pull. Change. Come on up. Left hand grabs right wrist. Take a big inhale, reach up, touch the ceiling. Exhale, bring the upper body left this time. Hips to the right. So keeping the chin away from the chest, you're pulling on that right arm, taking it down a little bit further. Straighten those legs, straighten those arms. Chin is away from the chest, shoulders hips squared off to the mirror. So right shoulder back, this time opens up, right hip back. Left, left um, hip forward, left shoulder forward. Inhale for straighten to that right lung and take it down. One more time, inhale for strength, exhale, pull, pull, pull. Change. Interlace finger grips. Severe lower back issues, hands to the lower back. Everybody else, drop the head back. Let's get me shampoo. We won't be seeing them for a while. Drop the head back. One inch by inch, charge the body back. Looking for the next inch on the ceiling down the back wall. Where the body goes, the, uh, where the eyes go, the body follows. Keep going back. Heart lifts, don't crunch the lower spine. Keep lifting, keep going back. More back. Keep going, keep going, nice. Come back up. Take a big inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinging forward, bent knees, flat back all the way down. Pedaling it out a little bit, take your hands in front of you. Padmasana from the front one more time. So heel through your feet to uh, uh, tip the feet apart. Take up those feet, slide those hands to the wrist creases. Lean the weight forward, drop the head heavy, relax the shoulders, tailbone reaches up, elbows coming out to the side, give it another good pull. And change, stay down there, Padmasana from behind, so feel so your feet to touch, skin on skin contact. Bend the knees, reach around, scoop up those heels from behind, fingertips, everything reaching forward. Bring it to the forward. You're cupping those heels. Lean the weight forward, keeping stomach to thighs, chest to knees, forehead to shin. Give it another good pull. Trying to straighten your legs. Head drops heavy, tailbone reaches up. Lean the weight forward, give it another good pull. Keep that stomach to thigh connection. Trying to work those legs straight. Readjust those arms behind you. Try to make those elbows touch. Lean that weight forward one more time. Trying to straighten the legs, give it another good pull. And change, biceps by the ears, flat back all the way up. Float the arms down. 
in your breathing. Top of the mat, quarter turn to the right. Right, left, you get where you're facing. The triangle series, inhale, arms up. Take a big step, right foot, arms come down parallel. Pivot on the right heel, get low. So you're working that thigh to parallel. Equal weight in both feet. Front toe mount is plugged down. Don't roll that foot knee your arch. You want to stay on the outer edge of that foot. A nice strong warrior arm. Sink into it a little bit deeper. Tilt, freaking asana. You can modify by resting the forearm on the thigh, reaching up. Stay lifted. Heart is opening up towards the left, towards the sky. Reaching 12, 6 o'clock, suck in that belly, right shoulder forward, left shoulder back, reach, twist, come back up. Give it on the left, get low. So again, working that thigh to parallel, watch the knee, the uh, knee doesn't go beyond the toes, sink into it. Get low. Upper body strong, tall, nice strong warrior arms. Reach to the right, tilt upper body to the left. Reaching up, reaching down. If you need to modify, take the mod. If you're not modifying, you're taking that arm, you're opening up that knee. Knee and hip should be aligned. Reaching up, reaching down. 12, six o'clock. Open up that heart, give me the twist. Stay lifted, heart lifted up towards the ceiling, turning to the right. Suck in that belly. Left shoulder forward, right shoulder back. Reach, twist. Come back up. Hands to hips, shorten your stance. Revolve your triangle. Hover into Trikonasana. Pivot to the back. Left arm up. So you're facing the back of your mat. Left arm up. Right hand to right hip. Hinging forward. Stop a tabletop. Let that hand fall. Typically the shin, never the knee. You can use a water bottle or a block. Equal weight in both feet. Pushing off the back foot. Suck in the belly. Twist with the left shoulder. Twisting lower middle upper spine. Opening up the heart towards the right. Back shoulder and arm comes up. Two hands down. Exhale. Inhale. Hands to hips. Pivot to the front. Right arm up this time. Hinging forward. Stop at tabletop. Drop that hand. Shin. Both legs are straight. Equal weight. Both feet. Keep the hands to the lower back. Make sure your hips are square. You may need to lean the weight forward slightly or back. Sucking that bottom belly twist with the right shoulder twist. Trying to stack both shoulders. If they stack, arm comes up. Revolving triangle. Two hands down, exhale. Inhale, hands to hips. Pivot to the side, arms over the head. Feet touch, arms go down. Adding on. Second set, inhale, arms up. Exhale, big step. Right foot comes out. Pivot, get low. Again, working that thigh. Watch the knees go beyond the toes. Inner thighs are engaged. That least sucked in. Pelvic floor is engaged. Look, reach and look to the left. Tilt upper body right. Transitioning extended side angle. Take the left arm, swing it down and around. Full rotation. Heart heels open, biceps by the ear. Feeling a stretch all along the left side body. Reach those fingertips. Two hands down, back of the mat. Downward facing dog, optional, flow. Pick up the left leg. Swing it through, under the heart, flatten the back foot, and windmill the arms, Virabhadrasana. Just gonna face the other way. So left side this time. Look and reach, tilt, Trikonasana. Extended side angle, take the right arm, swing it down and around. Full rotation, bicep by the ear, reach those fingertips over. Push off that back with feeling tremendous stretch along the right side. Two hands down, back of the mat, downward facing dog, optional vinyasa. Second 
Second set revolving, trying to do a one legged down dog. Pick up the right leg, flex foot, toes pointing down, closed off hip. Point the toe, externally rotate. Bend the knee, look over your left shoulder. Push the mat away. If you want to flip your dog carefully, right foot back, right arm rises. One on wheel or wild thing. Coming back around carefully, swing the right leg through under the heart. Come on up, hands to hips. Second set revolving triangle. Left arm up. Hinging forward, stop tabletop, drop that hand. Both legs are straight. Suck in that bottom belly, twist with the left shoulder. Again, trying to keep your hips square. Don't let that right hip right up. Shoulder stack, arm comes up. Two hands down, downward facing dog, optional vinyasa. Pick up the left leg, toes pointing down. Point the toes, externally rotate. Then look over your right shoulder this time, feeling a stretch left side. Flipping your dog, left foot back, left arm rises. Push you up the heels, hips rise for wild thing. Coming back around, carefully swing the left leg through under the heart. Hands to hips, come on up. Right arm up, left hand to left hip. Keeping those legs straight, you got at least the legs length. Hinging forward, stop, tabletop, drop that hand. Suck in that bottom belly and twist. Heart opening towards the left. Shoulder stack, arm comes up. Two hands down, downward facing dog, optional vinyasa. Adding on. Standing separate leg, head to knee. Dandi Mana Bipasapada, Jani Shirasasana. Take a big step, right foot underneath the heart. Bring the hands to prayer and round on up. So squaring up those hips to the back wall. You can square them up, one, two, three, four, five. Make sure they're square. You got a leg length in between. Start over the straight spine. Tuck the chin. Keep it tucked the entire time. Engaging all three locks. Mahabanda. Chin, belly, na uh, navel, pelvic floor, or cut in. Bending the front knee as much as you need to get the forehead to knee connection. All about forehead to knee. Separate the hands if you need. Try to get the forehead on the knee a little bit higher. Suck in that belly. Stretching liver, pancreas, spleen, kidneys. Compressing the thyroid glands with the metabolism. Bring the hands back to prayer and come on up nice and slowly. Chin comes up last. Pivot to the other side, pivot to the front. Bring that right hip with it, square it off. One, two, three, four, five. Straight spine to start, tuck. Suck in that belly, engage that pelvic floor and round down. Bend the knee if you need, totally cool. Keep the knee bent if you need. Separate those hands, push the mat away. Try to get the forehead a little bit higher. Work the hands back to prayer and round on up nice and slowly. And grab. One more time. Pick it to the back. Drop the hands behind you in the reverse prayer. Namaskar. Or you can grab opposite elbows. Two straight legs, flat back. So leading with the heart, forward folding. You're folding over that right leg. Both legs are straight, look forward. No roundness in the spine. And press right side, answering. Up 
Coming back up. Give it to the front. Hinging forward. Leading with the heart. Feeling stretched left side. Coming back up. Take it to the side. Arms overhead. Feet touch. Arms slow down. Nice job, guys. Take a quick sip of water if you need. Some standing, they'll get you on the floor. So, first is awkward. You keep tossing it. Step the right foot out. You're making your level with your feet. You can measure the two fists if you need. Feet are nice and straight, parallel to one another. Arms come up. Fingertips in line with the shoulders. Pelvis to a belly stuffed in. Protect the lower spine. And sit down in that imaginary chair. Your booty to the back wall. Take a peek at your feet. Make sure you can see your toes. Get the weight out of the knees, firing up those quads. Sit down, lean the upper body back. Weight should be in the heels. You can feel like you're going to fall down backwards. Fingertips energetically reaching forward. Sit down, lean back, puff up your chest, lean back, sit, reach, and come on up. Part two, high up on the toes. Keep the arms there. Like you're sliding down a back, like you're sliding down a wall behind you. Sliding down, high up on the heels, knees up, high on the heels. Thighs never go below parallel. You're keeping that six inch gap between your hands, arms, feet, knees. Looking forward, make those quads shake, working on that balance, concentration, and change. Nice. Part three, keep the arms there. Inner thighs come together, heels come up on their own. Suck in that belly pelvic floor like you're sliding down a back wall to a count of 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You're hovering above the heels. Fingertips forward, inner thigh. Engaged. Come up one inch hold. Come up five, four, three, two, one. Right foot steps in, arms slow down. Breathe. Garudasana, eagle. Two sets. Inhale, arms up. Right under left, wrap it up. Elbows, wrists, palms touch. Get low. Right leg, pick it up high, up and over. Point those toes in the direction you want them to go. Sit down. Lean back, chest lifts, squeeze the arms tighter, squeeze the legs tighter, creating a tourniquet effect, cutting off blood flow to all the major joints, all those weight bearing joints, squeeze, get low, lean back, and change, left under, wrap it up, get low, easy to wrap when you sit into it, sit into it, pick up the left leg high up and over, Point those toes, get eventually wrapping around that calf muscle. Sit down, cutting off blood flow, reproductive digestive system, lots of benefits. Squeeze, knees to the left, upper body to the right. Sit down, squeeze, lean back, and change. Right to the second set, right under. Get low. Right leg high up and over. Wrap it up. Getting a good eagle. Transitioning bowing eagle, hinging forward, flat back, elbows below the knee. Unravel, right leg reaching forward, toes reaching towards the back wall. Eagle arms are forward for Tula's and Dasana. Reaching forward, kicking back, heart lifts through, keep the spine straight. Five, four, Three, two, done. Left under. 
Get low. Left leg high up and over. So wrap it up tight. Bow it forward. Bow eagle. Unravel left leg. Toes reaching towards the back wall. Eagle arms or forward for Tula. Heart reaches through. Flat back. Leg up higher. Fingertips reaching, pointing for five, four, three, two, done. Float the arms down. Take another quick sip if you need. Standing head to knees next. Okay, standing head to knee. Shift away to the left, pick up the right. You can stay here, totally cool. Toes coming up, thighs slightly above parallel. I used to cue this, I don't like to cue this anymore. I'd rather you stay here. The belly is helping you hold up that leg. You're creating strength here. If you want to attempt to reach the foot, you're not there yet, stay here. If you got it, wrap it up. All 10 fingers underneath the ball of the foot. That leg is straight, no bend in that knee. You kick. Heel towards the front, toes coming towards the face. Shoulders down, arms extended, leg no higher than parallel. Keep reaching through the heel in that right hip. Make sure the weight is in the toes, never the heel. Protect those knees. Both legs straight, elbows come down, hug the calf muscle. Forehead to knee if you got it. Tuck the chin, eye gaze shifts for five, four, three, two, done. Nice and slow, same way you went in. Breathe. You'll hold up breath, so including me. Shift the weight to the right, pick up the left. So thighs slightly above parallel, toes reaching up. You can hang out here. A lot of work being done here. Building strength in that standing leg and in the feet. Round down or if you're close, stay here. Interlace finger grip. Belly off the thigh. Stuck in that belly, protect the lower back. Weight from those toes, never the heel. That leg is straight, no bend, you kick. Heel and left hip reaching forward. Get it out of the heel, forward onto the toes. Keep those toes reaching forward, kicking through the heel. Shoulders down, arms extended, looking forward. Both legs straight, elbows come down, hug the calf muscle. Keep the weight forward. Forehead to knee, tuck your chin. I take shifts for five, four, three, two, one. Nice, guys. And let it go. Coming to the top of the mat, bringing the heart rate down slightly. Standing separate leg stretching, inhale, arms up. Take a big step, right foot, arms come down parallel. Open up the heart, nice straight back, and then hinging forward, flat back, looking forward. Walk the hands in front of you, put extended downward facing dog, let the head hang. Slowing down the heart rate. Getting all those benefits from being in the inversion. Head is below the heart. Then take those hands, walk them to the outer edges of your feet. Slightly pigeon toe the feet. You can't grab the feet. I'd rather you place the hands in front of you and keep reaching the heart down. Down to the ground. Flat back. Do you want to stretch out particularly those last five vertebrae of the spine? The whole spine, but particularly those last five. You're grabbing the feet, keep reaching, keep pulling. Quads are engaged, protect the knees, release the hamstring. Fold. Let that head hang. Should be just grazing the top of the mat. Keep pulling. Tailbone reaches up, head hangs heavy, give it another good pull. 
and chain. Stay down there. Interlace fingers behind you. Reach up and over. Trying to touch the front of your mat, getting into those shoulders. The lower back, come on up. Flat back, arms over head, feet touch. Arms slow down. Okay, everyone's favorite, standing bow. Let's do it. Right arm out. Getting that inside grip, so thumbs up. Now the close the shoulder, shoulder is open, so thumbs up. Grabbing the ankle. Foot or shin, if you're flexible. Left arm up, fingertips reach. So simultaneously, you're kicking the leg behind you and you're reaching the fingertips forward. Kick back, kick back into the foot. Plant that frontal mound down, kick. When you've maxed out, you kick, you drop the body down. Reach and kick. Keep the hip closed. Knee is directly behind you. It's not coming out like a little chicken wing. Keep reaching, keep kicking. Building strength, determination, focus. You guys got this. Arm never goes below parallel. Stays up by the ear. Keep reaching, keep kicking. You guys look awesome. Turning it on now. Last five. Kick harder, drop the body down. Four, three, two, done. Nice exits. Beautiful, guys. Breathe, left arm out. Again, inside grip, thumb is always up, never closed off shoulder, right arm up. So reach, kicking simultaneously, kick the leg behind you. Reach and kick, drop the body down. Keep reaching, keep kicking, dropping the body down. Remember, keep that hip closed. Knee stays directly behind you, you're kicking into your palm. Fingertips reaching forward, I gaze over those fingertips. Never goes below parallel. Reach, kick. Toes eventually crowning over the top of the head. Keep reaching, keep kicking. Shoulders eventually stack. Reach, kick. Turn it on now. Last five. Drop the body down. Kiss up harder. Four, three, two, one. Change. Okay, last standing, train to toe stand. Pick up the right leg. Heel up, knee down. Vrikshasana. So get it high into that hip crease. Take the right hand, open up that hip. Remember, be careful of the knees. Right hand to prayer, left if the foot doesn't slip, if the foot hold it, no biggie. Transitioning. Toe stand, prep or toe stand. Pot on the stops, the limbs of the foot. Hands hit the mat, bend the left knee, heel to opposite butt cheek. Walk the hands along the side. And then one, or both hands to prayer. And eventually lifting off the heel. Squeezing the palms together helps. Engaging the pelvic floor, suck belly helps. Remember, a tight body is a light body, so keep everything tight and change. Everyone meets back in tree and change. Pick up the left, heel up, knee down. Get it high into that hip crease, left arm, open up that hip. One or both hands to prayer if the foot doesn't slip. Hang out here, or do toe stand, toe stand prep, hinging forward at the waist. Hands hit the mat, or bend the knee, heel to opposite butt cheek. Walk those hands along the side. One or both hands to prayer. The foot doesn't allow it. Shifting the gaze, few feet in front of you. Don't 
So stand as we have everyone back in tree. And then change. Acknowledge the standing series however you'd like, and then turn around. One minute Shavasana. So one minute. Oh, yeah. Vitrasana, reclining gentle pose. Bend the knees, bring the soles of your feet to touch. Let the legs lay out like butterfly wings as you bring the heels as close to the tailbone as possible. Placing the hands in the inner thighs if you need a little extra stretch. And just breathe. And change. Extend the leg shavasana. Pavana Mutakna, wind liberating pose. Pick up the right leg, bend the knee, get a grip two inches below the knee, breathe there. Feeling that pinch feeling, ascending colon, cutting off blood flow there. Inhale for strength, exhale, pull. Anchor that left shoulder back down, elbows reaching towards the hips down, towards the feet. Keep reaching, creating that tourniquet effect. Inhale for strength, exhale, pull one more time, and chain. Pick up the left leg, get a grip all the way to the webbing, two inches below that left knee, cutting off blood flow, descending column this time. Inhale for strength, exhale, pull. Anchor that right shoulder back down. Closing off the gap between the knee and the shoulder. Inhale for strength, exhale, pull. One more time, inhale strength, exhale, pull. And change. Both legs come up this time, wrap it up. Grabbing for opposite elbows, forearms, wrists, whatever you can grab. Feet are side by side. Thank you. Thank you. Eye gaze at the chest. Top of the head all the way to the tailbone imprints on the mat. Squeeze it in. Give yourself a little more love. Squeeze tight. Hug. Inhale, strength. Exhale, pull. Try to get every single vertebrae on that spine on the mat. Squeeze one more time. Transverse colon. All three, great for digestion. Any tummy issues, this is wonderful for the belly. And change, keeping the legs up there, we're gonna do scissors or crisscrosses for 20. So legs reaching up to the ceiling. You can place the hands to the lower back if you need a little support. First, we're gonna point the toes, flex the feet, lower down. Point, flex, lower. Point, flex, lower. Point, flex, lower. Point flex lower till you're hovering. Crisscrosses, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
three, two, done. Point, flex, point, flex, lower the legs. Heels together, toes splayed out, and you're breathing on by yourself. Heels together, toes splayed out, release the lower back. Release the little release there. Recline and gentle twist. Scoot the hips over to the right. Bend the knees, scoot the hips over to the right. Drop the knees to the left. So uh, hips right, knees left. Send the arms out like a T. You can eagle wrap the legs, extend the bottom leg. You can take the left hand, fit over the right thigh. You can intensify the stretch if you like. Eye gaze over the right shoulder. And switch it up, leather side. Scoot the hips over to the left. Drop the knees over to the right. Eye gaze over the left. Eagle wrapping the legs, extending the bottom. Taking the right hand over the left thigh. Intensify if that feels good. Coming back to center, keep the knees bent. We're going right to Johnny Kadasana, hip opener. Make that figure four, cross the right leg over the left. Take the right hand in between, getting a grip underneath the left hamstring. And then take the right elbow, push the right knee away, feeling it in the right butt cheek. Keep the head down to the mat. Everything is on the mat, head. Chin slightly tucked, breathe. Then the breath to that right of cheek. Switch legs, left over right. Left hand through, grabbing that interlaced grip underneath the right hamstring. Flexing both feet just slightly, protect the knees, and take the out, a left elbow and push the left knee away. Make sure you're breathing. Head is to the mat, and send the breath to that left butt cheek, that tight area. We all have those tight hips. And change. Both legs come up this time. Legs wide for happy baby and on the block. We're at the outer edges of the feet. Knees bend, elbows down. Getting into those hips. Bend one or both legs. That feels good. You can rock back and forth slightly. Getting into those hips. and change the vasana. Legs extend to the back wall, arms by your side, and you're breathing. Let it go. Full relaxation in between. Let the body absorb that newfound energy. You know, we'll do one Pilates roll up to get us up. So arms in front of you, roll up. Coming to the top of your mat for camel. Two sets. One for you, one for someone else. Place the hands behind you. Elbows disappear behind the lower back. Elbows disappear behind you. Place to the hands to the lower back. Drop the head back. Throat is open. Heart stays lifted. If you can see the wall behind you, you're grabbing for one or both heels. If you're close, coming onto your toes, hips slightly come forward, heart lifts higher. Open up those hearts. Let it go. Turn that off right now. 
Turn that off right now. Turn that off right now. Oh my God. And change. Just sitting in rock pose. Use this sea arch to hang forward. Sit rock pose. Hang out here a few day breaths. Just let it go. Whatever's gonna come up, let it go. Feeling nauseous, lightheaded, dizzy, it will pass. Okay, second set on your knees. Arms behind you, elbows disappear. Behind you. So drop the head back. Heart is lifted, throat is open. If you can see the back wall behind you, grabbing for one or both heels. If you're close, come up onto the toes and grab the heels. Using the shins, push the mat away, heart comes up a little bit higher. Then slightly come forward, heart reaches up higher. Feeling that stretch all along the throat, down to the belly, to the waist, down the quad. You should feel that stretch. And change. Sit in the heels for a moment, reset. One set of rabbit, compliment to camel. Sasangasana, so you're at the Back of your mat, you can place the towel over the heels. Grabbing the heels. Start off with a straight spine. Tuck the chin, start from the belly, keep the round. It's tuck, 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 and roll forward. As soon as that head hits the mat, you're rounding forward. 20, 30% on the head, the rest is pulling. Arms are extended. Suck the belly in, round forward more. The knees separated from the forehead, walk the knees. Do not move the head. Lean that weight forward. Open up the whole backside body. From what I can see here, beautiful camels, guys. Hips up higher, sucking that tummy a little bit more round forward. And change. Chin comes up last, all the way up. Nice, guys. Okay, sitting on your mat, separate leg stretching. The right leg extends, left foot, sole of the inner right thigh. Take the right hand, place it behind you like a kickstand. Take the left arm, grab the outer edge of that right foot. Turn the body to the right, twist, flat back, and come on down, forward folding at the hip. Coming back up, interlace grip, bend the knee, get a grip underneath the ball of the foot. Tuck the chin, keep the, keep the forehead to knee. Kicking through that heel, keep the forehead to knee connection. Eventually working that leg straight, but not important. It's more about the tuck, the roundness of the spine. Keep kicking with that heel, toes coming towards the face. Anchor that left hip back down and come on up. Switch legs, the left leg extends, so the right foot, inner left thigh. Left arm behind you first, like a kickstand, right arm up. Turn to the left, grabbing the outer edge of that left foot. Turn the body and PG forward. Come back up, interlace finger grip, bend the knee, grab the ball of the foot, tuck the chin, forehead to knee. Keep the forehead to knee connection as you try to straighten the leg. It's okay if it doesn't straighten. Just keep putting pressure in the forehead, space between your uh, uh, eyebrows. The leg is straight, keep reaching through the heels. Elbows come down, hug the calf muscle. Anchor the right hip back down, tuck the chin a little bit more. And change, come on up. Legs extend out in front of you, Paschimottanasana, grabbing the two key fingers, grabbing the big toes. I like to start with a straight spine, keep the belly to thigh, walk the legs out. Stomach to thighs, stomach to thighs, reach the heels forward. 
Broaden through the collarbones, elbows reaching out to the side. Plug the shoulders back. Don't let them ride up by your ears. So plug the shoulders down, back. Open up through the collarbones. Elbows coming out to the side. Pull, pull, pull. Cross the legs, push back into downward facing dog. Walk out your dog if that feels good. If you want to do another quick flow, go for it. Do another chaturanga. We're going to end with pigeon. Pick up the right leg. Swing it through underneath the heart. Uh, excuse me, left knee to left wrist. Extend the left leg behind you. Square up the hips. And then hinge forward at the waist. Coming down on your forearms. Heart pulling through. And then place the head down on the mat if it doesn't reach. Grabbing a block, stacking two fists. Putting a little pressure space between your eyebrows, your sixth chakra. Breathe into that right hip and let it go. You want to walk the elbows out. Bring your hands above your head in prayer. To have the flexibility there through the shoulders. If not, totally cool. Whatever feels good. Breathe into that right hip and sink deeper into it. Coming back up, push back into downward facing dog, pedal out your dog if that feels good. Take a flow if you'd like, if you're feeling strong. Pick up the left leg, bend the knee, left knee to left wrist. Extend the right leg behind you, square up those hips first, nice and tall, square them off. And then you're hinging forward, coming onto the forearms. Support the head with the floor, stacking two fists. Or you can walk the shoulders out. Place the hands in prayer over your head. If that feels good. And sink into that hip. Breathe into that uh, left hip. Send the energy there, send the breath there. And just melt, let it go. Coming back up, push back into downward facing dog. Drop to your knees, rod leg child's pose, let the belly hang. Hands in front of you, reaching forward. Walk the hands over to the right, left palm over right, anchor the left hip back down. Feeling your stretch left side. Walk the hands over to the left. Right palm over left, anchor the right hip back down, feeling a stretch, right side. Coming back to center. And then sealing your practice however you'd like. And then turning around for your final Shavasana. You guys can unmute if you'd like. 
Thank you everyone for joining tonight. It's so great to see everybody. Thanks for keeping up your practice. Thanks for joining. So Thank awesome you. to see you guys. Hope everyone's well. well not today. Not have a great, great week. Hopefully I'll see you next Wednesday. Be well, be safe. Thank you. Thank you. Be well. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Andrew. Bye everyone. Thanks. Bye Allison. Bye. Bye Diane. Bye, Bye Rose. Bye. Be well, guys. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.